Los Angeles International Airport. Hughes Air West Flight 706 prepares for takeoff. There are 44 passengers on board. Welcome aboard, folks. We'll be getting underway any minute now. Captain left. Theodore Nikolai is in command today. Roger, 24 left. Climb heading 250. First Officer Price Bruner is also highly experienced. Runway's clear. Throttles are all yours. At 6.02 p.m., the Hughes Air West flight lifts off from L.A. 372 miles from Los Angeles at an air base in Nevada. Marine pilot James Richard Phillips and radar intercept officer Christopher Sheese is one of a group of fighters that's been practicing air intercepts over the western United States. And the F-4's high altitude oxygen system was leaking. So there's no way to fix it at this base. And the mechanics in Nevada couldn't fix it. Sir, it's Lieutenant Sheiss. Yes, sir. We'll do. Yeah, they still want us to head back to El Toro. To avoid using the broken oxygen system. Just keep it nice and low. They've been ordered to fly at low altitude. At 5.15 PM, the F-4 takes off. Pilot Rick Phillips cruises lower than he ordinarily would. If it weren't for the oxygen problem, he could fly much higher and clear of commercial traffic leaving Los Angeles. At around 6 p.m., the pilot needs to climb to avoid the mountains ahead and get above a layer of haze. Copy, Rick. Climb to 15,000. There's a basic concept in aviation called see and avoid. It's every pilot's job to watch out for other planes. Investigators wonder why the pilots of the DC-9 did not take any action to avoid the disaster. It's coming in at 420 knots from the north, slightly east. The DC-9 is coming in at 320 knots from the southwest. Okay, 040, direct attack. What's the rate of closure? In the seconds before the crash, radar operator Sheets has his head down, checking his scope. Pilot Phillips is likely checking instruments. At 15 seconds, the F-4 is one-tenth of an inch big in the window, tiny. 10 seconds, three-tenths of an inch. Still tiny, but maybe now we can see it. Five seconds, the entire window's filled. Just another hazy day. Watch it! None of the pilots that day had enough time to see the other plane in their path. 